we love Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is romantic, but it has humor in it. It's retro, but it's also glamorous. It's also like not taking itself seriously. It, it has that sort of element of ridiculousness and of the absurd. That vibe is something we really like. My name's Oliver. My name is Nolan Romero Green. My name is Eliza. I play guitar and sing. I'm a singer and I play synths and violin. I play keyboards and guitars and write songs and sing and pop pop Nolan, Eliza, and I met in college. We were just really excited to be like writing music together and singing together. I mean, that was the big thing at first. And so for a few years, our sort of collaborative iteration was really a vocally based acoustic instrument. Is the elephant in the room? We were called Plume Giant, and uh, it was like a really formative exploratory time. And I think most importantly, it taught us a lot about each other's voices and how to sing together. And now we have that, and we're not going to lose that. That's what it should be. Ah, uh, and do. Okay. Stay here at night. And we graduated, and we all moved to New York together and got a little bit of a kick in the pants. Within the first six months, like we met 20 bands that, that were doing stuff that melted our faces and we thought was, uh, you know, cooler than what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> We started writing a new batch of songs and met Austin and Ian. And it was like, okay, finally we can sort of actualize this idea. Uh, sort of a whole new world of thinking about sort of sounds was was opened up to us. You know, it was a real period of fascination and of getting to know those sounds and how to use them and what not to use and what to use and whether we could use it. Just because something looks beautiful or sounds beautiful doesn't mean that it's meaningful. This flute actually, which we, we I use it a lot, but it it leaves something to be desired, I think, a little bit in terms of flute patches. I mean, I, yeah. I love the other patch I'm using in this, though. Yeah. That's the one you guys were looking for specifically, right? right? Yeah. So the song is Check the Weather. It's the first song that the five of us all worked on together. The song is about trying to find a partner and well, realizing that that's really different from just trying to find someone and trying to figure out whether it's helpful to do that in a, in a measured, very intentional way or whether doing that is isolating and sort of self-sabotaging and confusing. I think that this song was kind of written because we were all really excited to be playing with Austin and Ian. I really think that's kind of what it's about, the groove. <laughs> it should be a halftime dance, you know what I mean? I like that snare drum a lot. It's really super, This that's the defining 80s like, plush thing. Does that fat really like sounds like a drum machine. Pavo Pavo is um, Pavo is a constellation of, of a peacock. Being cosmic I think is significant. It's supposed to be a sort of dreamy sound. Stay 
Peacock also because I think a lot of our music is kind of about this time in your life when you're like becoming an adult or trying to and there's almost something sort of like hubristic about it. You kind of let yourself have an unchecked imagination even though you're kind of aware that that's maybe like inappropriate. You know, the peacock has this like ridiculous show of, of feathers and kind of wants to parade around with it. With Pavo Pavo, you know, no one's going around being like, we have reached our full potential. Look how much we just were willing to change. And we were like so aware of like all the things that we weren't able to do. It's like, look at this like amazing thing and like maybe we can bring our like aesthetic vision into this whole other world and that will be fun. Download the multi-tracks recorded for this or any episode of Shaking Through, or to learn more about Weathervane Music, the nonprofit that produces this series. You can follow the links on the screen or go to weathervanemusic.org. <laughs>